The leprosy bacilli have strong predilection to nerves. Peripheral nerves are invariably affected in leprosy. It is essential to examine the nerves for diagnosis and judging the progress on treatment and during complications like reactions. The peripheral nerves can be palpated near the joints where they are more superficial. Gentle palpation and rolling against the bone will reveal their thickening, consistency and tenderness. Usually, the normal nerves are hard and feel silky when rolled against bone. Those persons doing hard labor work may have thicker nerves. Hence, compare the finding of both sides. But when affected, they become more thickened in size and become harder like nylon strings. Sometimes, you may feel a thin ulnar nerve and ulnar claw present. In such cases, the nerve may be fibrosed. Then, it feels thinner but harder. While palpating, tenderness of nerve may be noticed by a sudden painful expression on the face. These changes in the nerves are not uniform throughout the course of leprosy. Therefore, nerves should be traced to the maximum possible extent by your fingertips. Here, it may be normal and a little above, there may be swelling. To palpate the ulnar nerve on the left side, try to find this bony prominence. Go behind the prominence, roll against the bone and trace it upwards and you palpate the nerve about its size, tenderness and consistency. Some people try to palpate the ulnar nerve from outer or lateral side. This also can be done and this method is more useful when you compare one side with the other side and simultaneously both the nerves are palpated left and right. From outer side we then try to reach the nerve behind the bony prominence and compare the left to the right. Nerves may be thickened but not damaged as indicated by sensory tests and voluntary muscle tests. If nerves are tender on gentle palpation, the diagnosis of a neuritis is made and the patients need further examination and medication. Allow yourself enough room and time to do the examination properly. The voluntary muscle test or VMT gives an idea about the loss of function of the motor fibers of the nerve. Already in the first few seconds of the consultation, you can estimate the muscle performance. The gait of the patient, movement of hands and eyes when he greets, weakness or muscle wasting of hands, feet or an incomplete closure of the eye. All this will give you a clue to more examine the part in detail. At least four nerves should be examined during the examination of persons affected by leprosy. These are the facial, the ulnar, the median and the lateral popliteal nerve. Each test result should be recorded on the patient card. To examine the facial nerve, ask the patient to close his eyes. If the eyelid muscles are paralyzed, the patient cannot close his eyes completely. This condition is called logophthalmos and can be best observed as demonstrated in order not to miss even a tiny lid gap. If the patient can close his eyes, try to open them with your fingers. If it is easy to open an eye, this means that the muscles of that eyelid are weak. To examine the ulnar nerve, test the movement of the little finger. Ask the patient to move the finger sideways, away from the other fingers. Now try to push the little finger back. If you can push it back easily, there is muscle weakness. If the patient cannot move little finger at all, there is paralysis. To examine median nerve, test the movement of the thumb. Ask the patient to hold his hand flat with the palm upwards and point the thumb upwards. Now, support the patient's hand and try to push the thumb down to a flat position at the side of the palm. If the patient does not resist and you can move the thumb down easily, there is muscle weakness. 
if the patient cannot point the thumb upwards at all there is paralysis to test the lateral popliteal nerve test the movement of the foot ask them to lift their forefoot now try to push it down if you can push the foot down easily there is muscle weakness if the patient cannot lift the foot at all there is paralysis as you can see the recording is simple write s for strong if the muscle strength seems normal w for weak if there is some movement but the muscle strength is reduced or p for paralyzed if the muscle has lost all strength and cannot produce any movement if the loss of motor function is of short duration that is less than 6 months it should be recorded as recoverable by prednisolone such patients must be referred to the medical officer phc without delay nerve function assessment always remember examine the nerves on both sides left and right by palpating voluntary muscle test and sensory test in its area palpate the nerve to know its thickening consistency and tenderness keep eye on the face of the person during palpation to detect tenderness common nerves to be examined are facial ulnar median lateral popliteal and posterior tibial more frequent nerve examination is required in cases with leprosy reaction neuritis